Hello everybody, this is Frogman. Welcome back to Create Astral. Uh, last episode, we did a lot of work, working with a little bit of this kind of stuff, got our applied energistics kind of going, and then we started touching on the new circuits. I did decide to take a little bit of time in between episodes and kind of start working on the actual factory floor decorations kind of sort of, so we now have at least this wall back here sorted out, plus a decent amount of just decoratory thing to make it kind of look like it's underground. Um, there's still a long way to go on that part, and it's one of those I'm just going to have to start doing it as I have time, but we do have a little bit more of a decor decoration, and at least, you know, it doesn't look nasty. I got rid of all of the cobblestone and all the junk. I'm okay with regular old stone. I think it's it's fine. It'll work perfectly good for what we're going to do. So I did a lot of work in between episodes, so there's a lot of this. I didn't get that far side done yet, but I did go and spend a fair amount of time on the moon and on Mars working with our, uh, well, one of our tunnel boring systems so that I could gather up a bunch of resources. We do have a lot of stuff now, and I decided I was going to start playing with some of these other little um, automations that they have as far as being able to do certain things. So uh, since I had so much moonstone or cobblestone, so let me say moon stone right here. If you take moonstone and you grind it into moon sand, and then you sieve it, you get a 5% chance on gunpowder, 10% chance on glowstone dust, and 3% chance on Certus Quartz dust. Now, in of itself, this is a waste of time. Just a complete, total waste of time. However, what you should theoretically be able to do if you can figure out how to make the cobblestone on the moon is that you should be able to build a cobble generator system that will slowly and surely crank out that cobblestone on the moon and then slowly over time feed your system those various materials. Um, I went and instead took about an hour and, well, hour, probably two hours. I don't remember. I spent a lot of time playing yesterday. And I, I basically took the uh, the tunnel bore and I just mined and mined and mined and mined and mined on both the moon and on Mars until we had something like 20 or 30,000 um, cobblestone. And then I've been slowly processing it through some other things. So I was going to actually come over here and see how we're doing on the moonstone. We had something like 22,000 cobblestone. So I've managed to process almost all of 22,000 cobblestone over the period of about six or seven hours. To accomplish that, I went ahead and built a um, kind of a, well, I'm going to call this a smelter, you know, super smelter kind of a thing. Um, it is processing whatever you put into it at about a rate of, I think it's a block every second right now. I'd have to look um, whatever this is outputting at this point. So what I did was I went ahead and cooked all of the moonstone, and we're now, like I said, we're now doing... Uh, the, the, the Mars cobblestone into this stuff right here into the regular stone. Now, unfortunately, for whatever reason, you cannot grind, and it's a step that's kind of silly. You can't grind cobble right straight into the sand. At least I don't think you can kind of grab that. that uh, maybe I wasted my time on this. Yeah, you can't grind the cobblestone straight into sand. You have to turn it into moonstone and then grind that. And it's the same thing, I think, with the Mars cobblestone where are we that should be mars sand you have to do the same thing here you have to smelt it into mars stone and then grind it into mars sand and then you can then either like say here wash it for lead or sift it for gold nuggets and lazurite dust now i'm interested in the lazurite dust at this point but a little bit of gold won't hurt us at all because we're kind of uh well we're not necessarily without a good um, source of gold, but there are definitely some times when we're going to need a few things. So other than that, I've done a little bit of sprucing. I kind of added in a few of the, the uh, what is it, the andesite thingies here, andesite casings. Uh, if you just take one of these andesite casings and just click it, it will kind of give you these nice little details so you can have this little cover here. It does not use, it doesn't use the casing. So it just kind of, you know, just kind of covers it. Like I really should go put some over there. I'll show you that right real quick. One second. Uh, casing, give me one, just one of these, and we can kind of do some things like that. And it's just a way of making things look a little bit nicer looking. I mean, I guess you can do that kind of stuff with them. It doesn't use it up. It just kind of covers it up and makes it look, I guess, a little better. I should probably do some stuff in here. I already, and also, I already also did a fair amount of uh, just making of some more stuff, so we should have several casings ready to go to be turned into various things 
Uh, there should be more of these laying around. And I also went ahead and made a bunch of circuits. So we should have about, well, well, more than a stack of those circuits. And we have 16 of these advanced integrated circuits to play with. That is a royal pain. I mean, that's a... This is this sucks. I mean, I understand it's just a way of making things work, but every single one of those things is is a lot of stuff. And for that matter, it takes quite a while to do even with, you know, the speed at which we're doing things right now. So it is kind of sucky when you're trying to do some stuff like that. And yeah, it, we're just going to kind of play around and see what happens. So again, that little process that I was speaking of, we're dumping the cobblestone or the cobblestone, the Mars stone out here onto this depot. There is an arm in there that grabs it and puts it into this brass funnel. These two crushing wheels crush it, drop it down onto a belt that is then collected back up onto another depot where it is shoved into three funnels, and then we're slowly sifting this out. This is another one of those times you're going to have to be smart with how you do your exporting out of your sieves because it will just put the Mars sand right on the ground because, you know, why not? I guess it just does what it does. So, um... I'm probably going to make this a little bit bigger because those grinding wheels can for certain keep up with those three, at least at the pace we're running. But it's just one of those kinds of things. I had a bunch of junk. I was not. I was thinking about just throwing it away, but I was like, well, let's just go set it up and get it to work, and then we'll see how it goes. So today what I want to do, today is going to be a kind of a big day or a long day. I'm hoping it's going to be a big, long day, whatever you want to say like that, because we need to, and I did it again. Where did you go? Come here, you. Uh, we need to start working on, well, the next level of fuel production and the next level of power production. Because, well, I was kind of goofing around with the redstone thing. Um, redstone, there's a way of producing redstone here that if you use, I think I got to do it this way, Tesla coil here. You can produce redstone by making a synthetic red, redstone crystal. So this is cheap. This is easy and, and so easily doable because of the fact that a rose bush, when you hit it with bone meal, will duplicate itself. So that's super simple, super easy to deal with, super... You, you, if you can't figure out how to make something out of that in a hurry, then that's great. So what's nice about this is it's two stacks of red dye and two stacks of... Um, Glowstone, or I should say, uh, any type of glass will turn into, uh, once you build the thing, uh, then you, come on, five stacks of redstone dust. So, for me, that's a, a, a trade-off I can stand, so I kind of like this idea. The problem there is, is it takes 10,000 FE to do the conversion. Well, we're not making anywhere near that right now. I mean, I'm not even close to making that, so... We've got some stuff stored up finally, but yeah, I sucked that bank down. I made an accumulator. I think we talked about this the last time we were playing around, but I did make an accumulator, and we've been kind of just running a few things around, and I decided since we had the ability we're going to use instead of the crappy wiring and instead of this stuff, uh, we can use the applied energistic system to push power everywhere. So the first usage for us to do P2P is going to be using applied energistics uh, power transmission. It's kind of nice. We'll be able to just push power wherever we need to. And, well, it's kind of helped out. So, what I want to do, since we have the belt production here, we have the cabling over here, is I should be able to do something like this so we have access to this. I need to make a bunch more of these. I need to get the wireless terminal going. That's going to be one of the next steps we're going to work on so that we can kind of clean some of this other stuff up. But we need to work on power. And what by mean we need to work on power, we need to start working on oil production, oil and fuel. So oil, if we take oil and we shove oil into a distillation tower, it's going to give us fuel cells. And fuel cells, we can roll those over, turn those into a bucket. Buckets can be then used to do whatever. We can burn this in our blaze burners, I do believe, and that will allow us to super heat them, which will allow us to get a lot more power out of what's going on over here. So we're sitting at 196,000 SU, and I think if I remember correctly, uh, uh, one of those would make like 200 and some odd thousand SU just by itself. One of them. So if we can superheat one of these, or at least one of them, and get to the next level of speed, then we'd be able to actually make a whole heck of a lot more power. Now... That doesn't really matter much, considering the fact that the only way we can really make power out of uh, the out of create is using these these 
these alternators. They work, but they're kind of a royal pain in the butt to craft, especially now that we don't have the ability to auto craft anything, you know, because I just can't push a button and do it. I still have to hand craft these things to a certain point. So let's go to the next thing that's going to allow us to get a lot more power, and that's going to be up here in Piglin Peculiarities with Gas Turbines. They're not amazing, again, but they will be able to make a reasonable amount of power for us so that we can then start pushing a little bit harder into some of this chapter. Our major issue here is going to be that even if we want to be able to make iron or something like that, I'm going to have to be able to build... Uh, well, it's like here. Where is it? This is going to be... We have to superheat it to make steel, and I think there's an even easier way to make it eventually anyway. But like... Where is it? Uh, quarries, blast furnaces, blast furnaces. This thing, as far as I know, it eats a lot of power. Like I said, input rate right there, 128 E per tick, whatever that is. You know, EU is what it used to be. Well, one of these can do that, right? So I, we need to start working on more power. And to do that, we were, I was, I, I, I'm still on the fence. We may go ahead and build a train down there to go get free oil out in the world. But again, if you look at where the free oil is in relation to where I've at least studied so far, uh, we have one like way down here. We have, I think there's one right here. I think there's a speck like right there. That's possibly one. Um, we have another oil field right here. There's an oil field right here. They're, they're all over the place, right? But because of the seed that we chose, oil fields will tend to spawn in large bodies of water or I believe actually they'll also spawn in a desert. However, I don't have any idea how far the nearest desert is from us, and to be fair, I'm not going to go crazy building a large amount of tracks just to get to an oil field that's not going to last very long. There's not a whole lot of fuel in them. Let me put it like this. There's less than one of those tanks, you know, a max size 3x3 tank in there. There's less than that. I think it's like half of one of those tanks. So that's like... Well, I forget. What does this say it is? It is, uh, yeah, 1,000 buckets. There's like five, maybe 200 buckets of oil in one of those things. Now, it's a one-for-one one shot, sure, but for 200 buckets of oil, we're not really getting a return on investment of building a trail line all the way out to one of those places, pumping all the stuff into a train, and then bringing it back, only to have it then have to go to an immediate different location somewhere else. That's something you as a player go to that location, set up a temporary system, and then, you know, pump it up and then leave. Because we have access to the uh, the tank units. Tank, tank units, these guys right here, you have access to these. And actually the advanced ones I think I can now make too, which is, oh, that's kind of painful, but whatever. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to dig into some one block wonders and hopefully be able to build some fun stuff so that we can start superheating our blaze burners and start thinking about some serious power. So right here is where we're going to build fuel production, I think. So uh, as far as all this goes, all we should need to do, I think, is follow the quest books. So let's see. In conjunction with that Astro Oil, you can distill fuel fluid into something that can burn hotter than you've ever seen. We need to make a distillation tower and an industrial machine casing. Uh, this fuel can be pumped into blah, 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 blah. Now, the distillation tower is a whole lot of little crafting stuff. There's a bunch of stuff that I need to probably make, and I don't think I have any lead plate, do I? I do. Good. I know I made a bunch of stuff, so I'm hoping I got most of it going. So, our goal today is to get this process going so that we can start eating things up and making some things go. So, I know that doesn't seem like a heck of a lot of stuff, but I want to try to get this and then into clear over to here into this gas turbine going so that we can then have plenty of materials to do some stuff. And I understand how they want us to do it. They're going to do it, do it there. We're going to be using soul sand or soul soil to be able to make this work. So uh, soul sand, for whatever reason, I am out of it, and I don't know why. I think something changed or happened. I mean, I've got 10,000 soul soil, so we should be good here, and we've got 23... 2,400 buckets of soul sand. I have no idea where it went. I, I was sitting there messing around and I looked up and it was all gone. And I, who knows? So something happened. Anyhow, um, so yeah, let's get into this. So the first thing we want is a distillation tower, which is going to be all of these things. Let's start with a couple of extractors. 
Okay, so onwards with the crafting. We all love to watch people craft on the on the thing. So let's see. We need all of that. One industrial electrolyzer. We don't need those right now. And then we need industrial centrifuge. I want to make at least one more of these as well. Uh, what am I short? Uh, two more of those. We need two more frames. So frame expensive one two and these are machines we want to make sure we use the wrench on because if we don't we lose them all right and you are go all right so these things are we going to be able to use in industrial centrifuge for some stuff later on some of which i've already got my eyeballs on because of the fact that this is a way of being able to produce red dye quickly uh, it's an awful lot of stuff for red dye, but there was something in here. Yes, this is what we're going to need this for the oil cell. So we're going to need to actually make one more of those. One second. Yeah, I, I, I probably should have counted that. That that was quite a few sets of extractors that we had to make. Everything was all right. So distillation tower. You need another advanced machine frame because I managed to use everything and had to go back and craft a few more of these. Let's go. Right on. All right. Distillation tower. Done. Along with an industrial centrifuge because we're going to need that to do the work. Let's go over here and see how much of a pain this is going to be. What are you going to give me? Uh, you're going to give me some Ostrom tool rods. We can leave those alone. The tools so far, I think we're probably going to ignore all the fancy little tools for now. I'm going to get excited here in a little bit probably and maybe go after the drill or something like that. I'm purposely ha perfectly happy with this stuff. It works perfectly fine for the, <clears throat> for the most part, and you don't have to worry about having to sharpen it. So, we'll, uh, well, you don't have to worry about charging it. Sharpening it, sure, and I already have one of those. Awesome, great, wonderful. As soon as I got the Ostrom, I did that. Okay, so then we have a circle we have to play through. You want me to use any Minecraft soul sand or whatever. So, how about this? Thank you. Nice. Click. I'll take your nether salad. We can use that to mess with some piglins later on. And then how crude you want an oil cell. All right, so this is where the thing goes. They didn't, you know, they're telling you how to do some stuff. So in order to get the oil, what we have to do is we have to take some of the soul sand, soul soil, some one of these two things, and run that through an industrial centrifuge. It's either going to give us dirt, or if I do the soul sand, it will give us sand, saltpeter dust, and coal dust, and a cell of, you know, oil. That's all we're going to get out of this. So let's see here. Oil uh fuel cell how many of these do we have eight all right now i think what we can probably do with this is these are capable of pushing stuff one direction or another so i should be able to do give me some building blocks i don't like putting things on the ground when i don't need to if i need to be able to get to the bottom of them it's no fun so we're just going to say we're going to start about right there and see what we can do so, first things first, it needs to have an industrial centrifuge put down, and then this is going to require power. I'm assuming this is going to be ridiculously slow. Um, we're going to have this export the random extra crap that we don't want it to export into the applied energistic system. So, let's get some cabling. Uh, cable, 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 cable. We'll just kind of play with this stuff for right now. So, oh, and I need a... Let's just say interfaces. I should have a few interfaces left. We've got a few interfaces. I need an export bus. Uh, do we have the ability to make an export bus right now? We do. Nice. Cool. And I think I'm going to want a, what is it, a drain? All right. Let's see what we can do with this idea. So we need to be able to supply this with material. So I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to place an interface on top of it, and I'm going to go to the configuration slots. We're going to, where does this stuff show up at? Let's look at this carefully. Soul, soil, soul, soil, soul, sand, soul, soil, doesn't really matter. We're going to run through all the soul, sand, and soul, soil that we've got right now. So it's going to put soul, soil in here, and then we're going to get these three things of stuff that are going to inject back into the system, and then this is going to move next door to the distillation tower. 
Oh, great. What does this look like? Oh, I got a bunch of blocks to build, don't I? Well, let me, um, I guess we're going to have to build you down a little bit. How much of a pain is this going to be? I did not realize this was going to be one of those multi-blocks. All right, let me build a bunch of junk, and then this is going to change. All right, I will remember that things like this require more stuff, and I will learn to read. I promise I will, will, I promise eventually will learn to read, because it says right in here, industrial machine came in casing and in standard and industrial. We need standard and industrial to get this thing to work, so... Already got those laid down. Let's make sure this is going to work. If not, I will have to eh, figure something else out. There. Are you happy? Okay, cool. So then I'm going to rip all that down and move it over here, which is going to be fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so if that's going to set the way this works, and now that Tech Guns, Tech Guns, I keep caught thinking Tech Guns, Tech Reborn has the ability to stack things on top of itself, then that should allow me to have a little bit of fun with this, which means I should be able to then kind of rethink my idea. If I place you about right there, that'll give us enough room behind. So then we do a layer of these. Yeah, then we do a circle of these. Nope, circle, not, no, nope, not, not this. And then another circle of these. We can do this without getting too stuck. And then the final cover of these. And then drop, then you should be happy. Cool. Industrial centrifuge, right on top of that thing. So if I do distillation tower... Distillation tower, if we look at what we're going to get in here, we give it an oil cell. It's going to then pull those empty cells out and deliver fuel cell and sulfuric acid. So in here, I should be able to pull here up and also output here so that you do the same thing. This is going to be where the oil comes out, I believe. This one, auto output down, and then, I think I might have screwed that up. Hang on a second. This, let me, let me fiddle with this. You guys are probably bored to death of watching me do this, so let me just try to get this set up, and then we'll We'll come up with an idea. I'm, 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 I'm slowly but surely frying my brain doing this. I think we're going to move it up one. That way I can do this. Okay. I think, I think I have an idea as to what I want to do here. So we don't have the power hooked up, and this, like I said, is going to probably drain that battery almost immediately. So I do have a couple of things ready to go. So this should theoretically pull soul sand and an empty cell out of there, place it into these two slots, and then move this slot downwards, hopefully, and these slots sideways. So whatever extra crap comes out of here, it's going to move it over into the other thing over here. For right now, we're going to process the soul soil because I ended up with a lot of soul soil. We still have 10K. So theoretically, that's 10,000 buckets. Technically, I think. I don't know. We'll find out. If it's 100 buckets, it's fine. I really don't care. So then, essentially, what's going to happen after there is this slot right here is going to be the thing that is going to create the oil. And I've got that slot set to push into this distillation tower, which should theoretically, hopefully, here, pull that, drop it into here, and then move whatever this is going to make into this interface. So the next step that I want to do is I'm going to go and do a little bit of goofiness. We're going to start with a this right here. I'm just going to place it right there, and I'm going to place an item drain on top of it. This technically should be able to auto input from the top, except we have to remember to turn on the pump. I don't know why all these are blue. Pull in from the top. 
And then we'll be able to figure out what we want to do, I hope, with this as the time comes. Right now what I need to do, well, like I said, the next thing, I guess, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take an export bus, and I hope this works. I don't think it's going to actually kind of thinking about how Create works. Is there any other way to drain this stuff? So let me see. Sell. Okay, well, then we're going to need to do a inventory of some assemblance. So let's just get a chest. Any old chest will work. And then we're going to need to do a brass funnel. I need another funnel. Uh, I don't want to do a funnel. I have a thought as to how I need to do this. This is, this is why I'm sitting here trying to think, how do I want to do this? Because I basically want to export the thing and then roll the deal back into the system. All right, I think we're going to try something kind of stupid. So we're going to do this. And I'm going to drop a funnel right there. And then I'm going to place the basic tank unit that will hold 128 buckets of whatever it is that we want to play with. And then I'm going to put the item drain right here. And then I'm going to take another interface... We're going to place that right there. The interface is going to get a cell, or whatever these things are. Is it a cell? Oil cell. Oil cell. I have no idea which one it's going to be. You're going to go right there. When that's produced, we will then roll that over the edge of that, and it will then fall, hopefully, right here. need another funnel. We'll just place a brass funnel right there for now. Right there. Down in, drop right back into that interface. I hope that's what we need to do as far as this works. If that works, then I'll, I'll trim this up and make it look a little nicer. But what we can do right now, without fiddle farting around with anything else, that should deliver... Those cells back in here on the empty end of it, they'll get dumped back into the system here, and away we go. So, for those of you that don't know what you're doing when you're playing with P2P connections or P2P terminals, in order to set them to whatever you need them to set them to be, you have to click them with a various piece of inventory that will tell it what's going on. So in this case, I'm going to tell it I want it to be looking for an energy source, so I'm using an energy acceptor. You write, you place the thing down, like, like, let's go here, we'll just re-put it down, since I haven't completely set this up. When you place it down, of course, it's going to say energy right now. What we'll do is we'll then click it with a thing. I didn't want to do that. But you'll click on it with the thing you want it to become. So I think I can actually, like, maybe do this interface. Maybe that'll work. Nope, still won't do it. Uh, don't, don't do this. Do that. Okay, so now it's an item thing all right it's an item we don't want items we want energy so we're going to click on it it's going to say booting unlinked device online and then we can place our cable down i'm doing that because this is going to immediately drain all the power out of the system i mean like it's going to immediately drain all the power out of the system and then what you do is you start with your initial thing we're going to clear the card here this is going to be the place where we're going to be connecting to theoretically if I shift right click on it, it's going to say copy current device configuration to memory card. If you look on the face of your little memory card, you have a little, you know, picture right, like right here. So it's saying frequency 1, BB, 0. That frequency is designated by those four colors in one little thing. And if you notice, your memory card has that on the deal. And you have to have a memory card. Simple, easy to do to be able to do this kind of stuff. Then what I do is I come up here and I click on it, and it's now going to link it and set things up, and things should start to go to work. I have no idea how long this is going to take. I expect this to utterly destroy our power. And it might. Well, I'm kind of keeping up, at least for the minute. Cool. So this is going to slowly, over time, process a little bit of stuff and make some things. So let's sit back and let it do its work. All right, it's about done. That's going to take two minutes. It dumped all that stuff out. It put stuff over here, and it should have put an oil cell down here. And I'm going to grab that make sure that we don't have any reason to worry about this. 
So let's see. Spin around. I don't know how I got that. Doesn't really matter. Don't care. Oil cell. Rich soil. Thank you very much. And I don't know how I did this. I don't know. But I'll take your blaze burner and a fuel bucket. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and place this in here. And then we'll put all of this over here. Actually, what we will do is we'll do... Um, no, I don't want an oil cell up there. What am I doing? We don't want oil cell. We want fuel cell here. Correct. And then I should be able to put that in there, right? All right. So if I grab a cell, I should have one. I should have a spare one. If I grab this and then place this in here, it should roll it over, dump it, throw it back in there, and we should have a bucket of fuel. Okay, cool. So then I need you to auto input, auto input. All right, we now have a thousand buckets of fuel. Do we have fluid cells? We do. Interesting. We may be, uh, we may experiment with that. Instead of doing this tank, I might just do that then. What are those to cost me to make? Not much. We may just do that. I may just go ahead then and import that directly, and then we can get rid of some of this goofiness. But this is going to sit here very slowly and take care of its little process. So you have an oil cell in here. Let's go ahead and see how long this takes. According to that, it's 100 seconds. And then we're going to end up with sulfuric acid and a few other things. So this takes two minutes. This takes a little under two minutes. So this will overrun that eventually. Okay, nice. And how are we doing over here for power? We are slowly going down because this is utter garbage. Okay, I'm going to let that... Well, I guess I'm going to let that run. I think the next step we need to be kind of looking at then is what's the next step in the quest line here. So you want me to look at this? I'll just take your silly thing. It's fine. Hotter stuff. Good. Gas turbine. Gas turbine. I don't think this... Dang it. Yeah. Hydrogen, methane, or other gases to generate energy. Oh. 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 Well, once this runs, all right, so that should have dumped out a hydrogen, I believe. I don't remember. Let's see what we have. Um, so that gave us sulfuric acid, empty cells, and that's lovely. What can we do with this? Run it through an industrial electrolyzer to get hydrogen cells. Um, or we can probably take something like a diesel generator. I think this gentleman right here and burn that fuel with it. I think. Nitro diesel. Well, this this might be one of those times when we're just going to sit here and kind of fiddle with things and let them run for a little while so that we can do what we need to do in order to be able to actually craft some things because this is how we get to steel. So I guess for right now, I'm going to spend a little bit more time studying what we can do. And if you have a comment for me, by all means, please leave it in the description below or the comments below so we can kind of figure things out. Again, I'm still kind of just digging through this mess trying to figure out how to do things. And I can for sure make this a little smaller. Like I said, I will probably go ahead and use a uh, ME fluid cell instead of that tank because we'll be able to store a little bit more. But if that's all we're going to be able to do with this, then, yeah, we'll probably just pump one side of this full and go from there because in order to speed this up we need to start looking at overclocker upgrades and overclocker upgrades get really 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 expensive on power very 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 quickly so i guess for now ladies and gentlemen i'll see you all in the next one thank you so much for watching bye